Hi welcome back to another video today, we will know something interesting about the new car and its feature. Interior. At first glance, the changes inside the car are noticeable. The materials used are better, with less hard plastic and more soft leather and materials that feel nice to touch on the dashboard. On higher-end versions, there's even leather upholstery that's stitched in a special pattern. Different trims like wood, brushed metal, and materials that look like carbon fiber are available, adding different textures to the door panels. The Atlas is still one of the most spacious SUVs with three rows of seats. Unfortunately, the changes in the cabin also mean that Volkswagen's touch-sensitive controls and complicated infotainment system are now in the Atlas. Now, you have to dig into the menus on the touchscreen to do things that used to be simple. Even the sunroof is controlled by touching a slider on the screen. Volkswagen says you can also use voice commands and hand gestures, but we didn't find them to be very good options. The screens themselves are big. A 10.3-inch digital gauge cluster and a 12.0-inch central touchscreen are standard, but we don't really like this change. This type of software is also used in other VW models like the GTI and Golf R, and it's just not easy to use. Exterior. The SUV's frame hasn't changed much. This part of the Atlas was already good, so not much needed fixing. The Volkswagen Atlas still rides nicely, even with big 21-inch wheels. It keeps its body under control and handles bumps on the road well, without being too rough. The steering doesn't give very clear feedback, and you can feel the SUV's weight when you take corners quickly. But overall, it's comfortable and balanced, just right for a family vehicle. When tested on a special track, the Atlas had good grip, and it stopped from 70 miles per hour in 170 feet, which is a bit better than older Atlas models we tested. If you're not expecting the sportiness of a GTI, but instead want a comfortable family SUV, the way the Atlas is set up is exactly what you need. The new engine is better at making the car go faster compared to the old VR6 engine. In a test, the car went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.3 seconds. That's half a second faster than a 2018 Atlas with the heavier VR6 engine. It's also as fast as many other big SUVs with three rows of seats. We also got 25 miles per gallon when driving at 75 miles per hour on the highway which matches what the EPA said and is better than what the VR6 engine got. First look. The car has been updated with modern headlights and taillights. It offers a boxy and simple design. The base model comes with features like ventilated front seats, a heated steering wheel, and all the necessary driver assistance systems. There's also a new off-road version called the Peak Edition with special tires and extra cladding. Overall, the car has a straightforward and practical look. Price. For a starting price of just under $40,000, the base 2024 Atlas Southeast offers a more generous set of standard features than before. The release date of this car is November in 2024. Review. The car's driving experience is comfortable and well-balanced. It has good body control, even with larger wheels, and it handles bumps on the road without feeling too harsh. The steering might not give the clearest feedback, and you'll notice the car's weight when taking corners aggressively. However, it's a comfortable and stable ride, suitable for family driving. Overall, the car's driving experience is well suited for family use. Make sure to subscribe for latest update. Thanks for watching.